Hello guys and welcome. So happy new year, it's now 2020 and let's keep this what is series going. So in this video, we're gonna be answering the question of what is Escape from Tarkov? This video is aimed at people who have no idea what Escape from Tarkov is. Maybe you've noticed it, it's probably at the moment, it's like one of the biggest games on Twitch. So you, you might think, what is Escape from Tarkov? And I personally have looked through a lot of videos um, read a lot of tutorials, but no one really answers that question. So um, I wanted to go into it in this video. So it's just going to be what is the game? I'm not going to go, it's not going to be a tutorial of the basics of bag management and weapons and so on. I'm just going to say what is the game? So Escape from Tarkov is based around the, the idea of escaping from a place called Tarkov. What is Tarkov? Tarkov is a basically a zone which is between Russia and the EU in fictional Norvinsk region um, where basically you need to escape from it but you have a military sort of presence in the game so all the citizens have already fled for example and you go keep going through Tarkov to want to escape it there's different areas of Tarkov for you to escape from but also as well to uh, scavenge um, and salvage different pieces of gear along the way so the way it kind of works is it said let, let me quickly read this to you so it says escape from Tarkov is a hardcore realistic online first person action RPG simulated with MMO features and store story driven walk walkthrough which each passing day, the situation in Norvinsk region grows more and more complicated. Incessant warfare in Tarkov has sparked massive panic. The local population has fled the city, but those who stayed are looking to improve their fortunes at the expense of others. Having accepted the new reality, savage Tarkov locals, scabs, um, and scavs tend to be a lot of times controlled by computer. You can play as a scav, but most of the scavs you encounter in the game are um, AI. Uh, flocked in to well-armed gangs and started the redivision of the city. Nowadays, Tarkov is separated by unseen borders, controlled by different groups. Gain greedy um, gunmen will go to any length to have their way, including the murder of civilians and direct confrontation with the two private military companies. So um, basically, the different groups you're going to see in the game, you're either going to see the Russian internal troops, the United Nations peacekeepers, or the two, like I said, private military groups being the United Security, USEC, and or bear they're the different groups you're going to see in the game um so they said the players will have the experience living in the skin of one of the mercenaries who survived the initial stage of the tarkov conflict after choosing one of the sides us or bear the player's character starts to make his way out of the sea tarkov is sealed off by un and russian military supply chains are cut communication with operational command is lost and in these conditions, everyone has to make their own choices of what to do and how to get out of the chaos-ridden metropolis. Okay, and then um, it talks a little bit about the city. So uh, Tarkov City. The events of Escape from Tarkov take place in the fictional Dovisk region, special economic zone, that became a gateway between Russia and Europe. Uh, Preferential conditions for large international companies, um, ha however, have not only attracted law-abiding businesses, but corporations of dubious intent as well. In Tarkov, one of the largest cities of the region, a uh, transatlantic corporation became the ground zero of a political scandal. Six months later, the political standoff escalated into an armed conflict involving UN peacekeepers, internal troops of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and two private military companies. The region's borders were sealed off, and those trapped in the middle of the local warfare uh, flare up uh, were isolated from the outside world. Now, guys, I'm not going to go, this is not like a law run, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to actually show some uh, trailers. So. Now, like I said, this sort of game 
is very interesting. Think of it almost like a battle royale without the battle royale. <laughs> it's like it's more aimed at the um, survival. So we're going to watch the latest trailer for patch 0 0.12. So now, as I say, guys, uh, this game, oh, I forgot to mention, is developed by a Russian developer called Battlestay Games. And the point of it is, is that you go in into this game, you've got a certain amount of equipment, you will find equipment when you're playing the game, and you'll be able to keep it if you survive, if you get to the extraction points. There's only a certain amount of times for each map. So you can go in with a team, you can go in alone. Um, the general advice that I've seen from other players who play this game a lot is to really go in alone to really learn the game or to practice in offline mode. But if you play offline mode, any gear you get, you simply cannot take obviously into the online game, which makes perfect sense, right? So uh, you need to um, learn your way around the maps. So one map I've been recommended to start off if you're a new player is the customs map. So start with customs because apparently it's, it's quite small, it's, it's quite easy to learn. Now, from what I've been told as well, the maps in game don't help you that much. Um, so there are really good maps, which I will link in the description, which tell you not only like the location of everything, where the extraction points are, where the gear is and so on. Um, it tells you it tells you basically everything. Now, um, this game is realistic in terms of shooting. Like, you will be down by a single bullet in the head, basically. So um, it's not like other games where you just shoot and shoot and shoot and so on. And you have different types of uh, healing. So you have med kits for healing your health, but then if you start bleeding, you need bandages for the healing to stop the bleeding and so on. And um, as with everything, guys, the more you're geared up, the more chance you have to survive. So it's worth spending the time to actually learn your way around the maps, learn where all the gear is, and then basically from there, uh, be able to have an advantage over the scavs. Now, the thing is, you can play as a scav yourself. So um, if you play as a scav, then basically all the other scavs will not attack you unless you attack them. So if you attack a uh, scav, then you're in for a, uh, a rough time, basically. So uh, let me just check something. Okay, we're good to go. Right. So um, as I say, guys, this is a sort of game, like I say, where survival is key. So it's different to your typical game. So a, a lot of similar games, like people might compare it to PUBG, for example. They might be like, okay, well, it's just simply, it sounds like, how is it any different from any Battle Royale game? So the point is, is that your gear actually transfers between attempts. Whereas that's not the case in PUBG. Like imagine if every time you, you finish PUBG, you kept all your equipment every single time. Um, it doesn't work like that. So um, what there's is also um, in Escape from Tarkov, there is different M like NPCs which you deal with or traders that you deal with between games. And they will sell you stuff. They will buy your spare equipment. They will give you tasks. The more you level up loyalty with them, the more you will be able to get things at, say, a better price or uh, so on. And um, the gear that they tend to want it tends to be found in the actual uh, maps. Now, it's not all the time. Literally, there's some, especially at the beginning, there's some quests that you can do for the uh, traders where you can literally just buy the gear from another trader. And the currency in this game is rubles. So uh, you basically, you get rubles, you can scavenge them from scavs and so on. But there's also one trader, who one of the peacekeepers, who actually deals in US dollars. So basically, you only can deal in US dollars with him. Um, and he only trades with you in US dollars as well. So if you want to get this game, guys, um, escape from Tarkov.com. Um, is where you want to go. There's different types of, um, let me see, there's different uh, editions that you can effectively pre-order because technically this is a 
early access game. So uh, the more, the better edition you uh, pre-order, the uh, more you're, you'll get as, as an advantage in game. But uh, the main thing is, the way this game is marketed is a very, very difficult game. Like, you really have a hard time because you will probably be facing players who have a lot of knowledge of the maps. They will know everywhere people go. They will know where all the spawning points are and so on. So you really have to learn your way through this game in order to uh, succeed. So um, now this sort of game, for me personally, is not really something I'll play because um, I will get wrecked <laughs> like constantly and I don't get much pleasure out of that. But... Um, the main thing is, I just wanted to explain what is Escape from Tarkov. I hope I've answered that question to, for you. There is a lot of people who've made a lot of great guides for this game. So uh, please, please check on YouTube and so on. And there's a lot of massive streamers who are actually playing the game right now, like your co-carnages, Dr. Disrespect, Shroud, and so on. So uh, see if you can learn anything from watching them as well. And um, the, the main thing is, with any game, really is to just have fun, as simple as that. Like, if it looks like a game that will be uh, fun for you, check it out. So as you can see, there's the Standard Edition, there's the Left Behind Edition. I will leave a link in the description to this page as well. There's the um, Edge of Darkness Edition as well. So th there's a lot of different editions you can get for the game. And it also lists on the website what you actually get for um, getting them as well. So, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. That is Escape from Tarkov. Um, if you're interested, check it out. Simple as that. Why not? Let's support all the developers who make great games these days. And it's hard to ignore this game simply because it is so highly rated right now. So obviously people love it. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you'd like to be sure to give it a thumbs up, you can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.